Okay, hello, you're very welcome to Jerry's DIY. Okay, so I'm looking at this five kilowatt, 12 volt electric caravan heater, just a portable five kilowatt heater. It runs on kerosene and I'm gonna show you how it works right now. So I'm in my brother-in-law's workshop. Um, he's working on one of these caravan heaters. This is five kilowatt diesel or kerosene heater. And look, it's very small, very easy to put together. It, it comes with some ducting. <laughs> and that's the ducting falling off it. But look, you can see it, it's about the size of, you know, a bit bigger than a, you know, a loaf of bread. Um, you know, it's very, very easy to set up. It comes with, um, you know, a digital display, which you can see there, hopefully. Uh, it's a timer, you know, it shows you what's happening in the burner itself. Uh, it's got a purge fan, you can set the temperature, you can set timers. Um, and it comes as well with a little little remote control. So you can set it with this. This tells you the temperature and everything. And you can switch it on and off with this as well if you want. Brilliant. So I have a 12 volt car battery. Uh, I've got this hooked up to a power supply, which is the 12 volts down in through this. You can see the leads connected to the battery. Okay, this is the actual air intake. So it sucks in air from outside, burns it in here, makes heat, and sends the exhaust gas out this... Um, you know, it looks like one inch stainless steel, um, kind of a corrugated pipe. And that's the little exhaust on the end. So essentially what happens is this has to go outside no matter what. This has to go outside as well. So it's getting this fresh air from outside, burns it and send the exhaust to outside as well. So at no point inside in the camper van are you getting kind of fumed out of it. All the fumes are, you know, um, exported outside. What happens after that then is once it's heated the element in here, you know, there's a little cartridge in there. Once it's heated the heat exchanger, it takes air from here, which is your air inside your camper, and it blows it out the other end of that. So your air comes out of this, and you're blowing five kilowatts worth of air into your camper van or into your shed. Now, the reason I'm looking at it, I'm very interested in it, is, you know, a lot of people have asked me about small heaters. Well, you know what? This thing, pour, or this thing burns about... 0.2 liters of kerosene or diesel an hour. 0.2 of a, of a liter. So 0.2 of a liter. You know, so that's five um, hours worth of heat for one liter of juice. And a liter of kerosene is very cheap. And it's making five kilowatts for that. Now, if you've got an insulated shed or something like that, um, you know, you make your five kilowatts and it stays here. It gets up to temperature and it's switching in and out. So this thing is all automatic. It knows what temperature it is. It knows, um, you know, it knows what time you want it on it. So you can set it to come on at five o'clock in the morning or to stay on constant. Um, the little exhaust then, as I said, you know, if you were using it in, say, in this shed, for example, um, you just have to pour that outside, put it on an outside wall, stick that outside, get this to blow your five kilowatts worth of heat in here. And you can get bigger ones as well. This one is rated at five kilowatts. And I'm going to fire it up now so you can see it. And look at the size of it. You know, with the, the pipes off it, it's actually very small, um, very well built. I've no experience of them other than this. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna put this back on and I'm gonna fire it up and show it to you. Right, so that's the air intake. This thing is getting, you know, I could put a Jubilee clip or something on that. So it's getting its air from there. It's burning it in there and it's coming out the exhaust. Now, at the moment, it's just gonna exhaust in here, but I'll just show you this. So we've got the remote. I'm just going to hit on on the remote. There we go. We've got to change. So it knows it's on. I'm not sure you can read that. And I can hear the fan coming in now. So the fan comes on. It's going to go through a purge cycle. It, and it's all automatic. All I did was hit the on button. It'll blow a bit of smoke out of here when it's ready. And at that stage when it's blowing smoke, obviously there's a you know, combustion inside. But this bit and this bit are inside in the, in the camper van or your, your space to be heated. These two bits go outside. I can hear the fan already, so it's sucking in cold air here and it's still coming out cold air. Here we go. I've got my mic on me here, so hopefully you can hear that. And the pulsing you can hear, if you can hear that, it comes with a little, um, and this is part of the kit, where my hand is here, maybe on the other camera you can see it. It comes with a little um, pump, 
little diaphragm pump, 12 volt. The complete kit is about 100, you know, I think it's about 100 sterling, something like that. Okay, so it's gone for roughly, I don't know, maybe a minute now at this stage. And um, it's beginning to make heat. So I would imagine, you know, the heat cycle is probably somewhere around five minutes. It's already blowing warm, slightly warm air. Okay, so if you can see that, it's up to 20 degrees so far. Now, the ambient temperature in here, let's get a wall. So I just hit the wall here. The ambient, ambient temperature in here is about 14 degrees. This is after building up speed now, there's more output. Now the fan speed on this has come up. It's producing a little more than 20 degrees. Look at that, it's producing 27 degrees and it's producing a lot of, a lot of air. So this thing, <laughs> if this was going outside, now it would be a bit noisy because I'm standing beside the exhaust. You know, in normal operation, you'd have this thing kind of piped outside, either outside of your shed or, you know, outside of your camper van. But what we're hearing is the exhaust. You wouldn't be listening to that. Temperature is coming up and you can see the kerosene in this one here, maybe. So we've got some kerosene in that. So we're up at about 31 degrees now. Hopefully you can see that. Now that's producing a lot of hot air at the moment. And it's rising, 36 degrees. You know, 36 degrees now, if it was blown 36 degrees into this space, uh, it's getting its temperature from this thing. And it shows the fan rotating. Now you'd get burnt off the exhaust. I can feel the heat off the exhaust. It's quite hot. I don't know, it must be about 35. Yeah, no. <laughs> That's very good, 48 degrees. This thing is a great little success. Fantastic little unit. Okay, so we've got 55 degrees out of that now. So, the, you know, the air temperature is great. 54 degrees. Ah yeah, that's lovely. That would have no problem heating a shed or something like that. As I said, I'm gonna switch it off now. Okay, and the word off comes up on this, if you can see it. And it's gonna cycle down. There we go, switched off the burner part of it and it will keep running, you know, I would imagine until it cools the, the heat exchanger down and purges itself, itself of the, uh, the exhaust gases. These things are absolutely fantastic for what they are. I think, as I said, I think it's about 100 quid and um, really brilliant. No problem this thing heating a workspace, no problem whatsoever. If you had a small shed or something, no making on this, just, you know, get yourself a 12 volt power supply, hook one of these things up can't go far wrong with that. I'm really, really impressed with these. Now these are a fantastic little unit. Anybody could install one of these and it's just up to yourself as to where you would put one in. But uh, this is the first time I've seen them. Yeah, I normally put in, you know, I do install heaters of all sorts, you know, oil boilers and stuff like that. I've done loads and loads. It's housing estates full, full of them. Uh, gas boilers, all that sort of stuff. But I've never seen one of these things. I'm really impressed with them. A uh, big shout out to Jamie and thanks very much for letting me use a shed. Thanks very much for letting me see this. And uh, if you want to see Jamie's channel, I'll have a link below in the description. So look, I'm going to leave it there for now. If you like the video, <laughs> please thumbs up, subscribe down here. If you're thinking of buying one of these things, you know, click on the link below and uh, maybe buy one through the link. And look, I'll see you all in the next video. Thanks very much for all the support. Bye for now. Good luck.